we are in Okab. We finally made it. We were actually stuck in Folibete for two days uh, because of ongoing protests and roadblocks. But we finally made it through. We are in our favorite city. So excited to be here. Um, this time we are staying right on the boulevard. We don't have a car this time around. So we want to have a different experience, be right here in the middle of everything and have easy access to everything. So that's why we picked to stay somewhere on the boulevard instead of staying somewhere else. So hopefully everything goes well during our stay. We know things are a little different because of the protests and those kind of things, but you know, hopefully we can have some fun, we can make our way to the beach, and you know, all the other great things when you are in the north. <laughs> so um, we also wanna go to our hometown, Pleasance, for a couple of days. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do it because of the protest, but if we can, then we will also go to Pleasance. tourist markets on the boulevard it isn't too far from cap delhi there are a lot of different vendors here they all have their own shops we're just going to go in one by one to see if there's anything um, that we could find i have a lot of souvenirs already but i'm going to try to find something that you know i don't have already something that's unique that i can add to my collection definitely come here whenever you're in old cop you can find some nice locally made products um, you know, definitely some creative pieces as well. So we're gonna go take a look to see what they have and what, you know, I could find to add to my collection. This. this is cool. I don't usually see these. The guys are buying a belt from the Mashan. That's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks like a kid and an adult at the same time. This used to be me. <laughs> this definitely used to be me as a kid. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. I don't know if you can tell what it means. If you can see the meaning behind that painting, it's very powerful. 
I just bought this. I think it's very pretty. I think I'm going to put it on our bookshelf. And then I also have this bag as well. Here is a view of our room. So we did get a double, so we have two beds. There's AC in here. There's also a TV, a mirror, a desk area. And then right by the door, there's the closet. So of course we can put our suitcase and hang up our clothes since we are gonna be here for five nights. And then there is the bathroom. We are getting ready to head to Bucanía tonight. It is a bar and grill right on the boulevard. Um, it is very close to the hotel. That is why I like staying at Picolé because everything is close by. You don't have to take a moto. I mean, of course, something is a little further out. You might you know, want to take a moto or a taxi, but pretty much everything on the boulevard is close. So um, yeah, we're just gonna walk over. It's definitely the spot to be over the weekend. Um, normally when I'm in Ocap on the weekends, it is popping in there i don't know how it's going to be tonight because there are you know protests and things like that so it might be kind of dry but we're gonna go and hang out anyway so um yeah i'm gonna head over there <laughs> we are going to the beach today. I'm just going downstairs to see if I can get something to eat real quick. Um, I definitely missed breakfast, but uh, let me see what they have. The guys went out to try to get some gas. There is a gas shortage right now. So um, they're having some trouble finding gas and it's also sold on the black market for an outrageous price. So yeah, they're trying to find gas so that we'll be able to go to Labadi and have a beach day. Jamima just came down to join me. She actually ate earlier. She was ready ahead of time. <laughs> so she already ate, but um, yeah, she's just down here waiting with me while we wait for the guys to make it back. Um, I'm a little concerned that they're not gonna find guys. I am a little concerned. That's why people are protesting. That's why there's nationwide protests right now. Roads are being blocked. That is uh, an effective form of protest here because it forces the government to listen. So it's not just a gas, but it's also la viche. We're going through an economic crisis right now. Um, people cannot afford basic things that they could afford before due to inflation. So yeah, there's a lot going on right now. Um, Oh, messy. Oh, wow. I didn't order this, but I got some acca <laughs> and some piclis. <laughs> we have some tasso. With some banan pizze. Some babo <laughs> kawi. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. It's it? 
It tastes good. It tastes good, y'all. Lunch was really good, y'all. So now we are heading to the beach. We are going to La Badie. to go on the boat we're just sorting it out trying to find um, someone who's going now and then we are on our way to belly beach yeah it is so hot can't wait to get in the water <laughs>
so right now we are at a different hotel. We are at Satama Hotel. Um, I'm actually excited to be here because it's my favorite hotel in Okap. We decided to extend our stay until Sunday. We were actually supposed to leave today. Our flight back to Puerto Plants was today, but we um, changed it so that we can leave on Sunday instead because there are a lot of protests right now in Puerto Plants and the road to get to our house is blocked. So we wouldn't be able to get home anyway, would be basically stuck at a random hotel in Puerto Plants. And we're like, why be stuck at a hotel in Puerto Plants when we could be in beautiful Ocap? You know, so instead of, instead of, you know, going today, we're like, let's wait it out and go on Sunday. Since Sundays are usually, you know, more chill days, whenever there are ongoing protests and roadblocks, um, a lot of times in Puerto Plants, Sunday will be the day they let everybody go to the market. It'll be like kind of like a chill day. And then on Monday, they start over again, you know, even harder than before. That's how it has been. And that's what we are thinking is going to happen this time. So we uh, switched our flight to Sunday instead. So <laughs> we came up to Satama, you know, even though, you know, before we we're staying on the boulevard, so we were close to everything. So that's very convenient. But um, we decided, you know, let's spend the rest of our uh, days in Okap at our favorite hotel instead. And so we made our way to Satama. So I'm excited to be here. The view is beautiful. I mean, y'all, look at the view. Since this was a last minute reservation, we were only able to get the basic room. It is pretty much the smallest room that they have at the hotel. It looks like the room that we had last time, but just a smaller version. Of course, it comes with a TV. There's a desk area so we can work while we're here. There's a mini fridge, which is great. There is a closet so we could put our clothes. And then there's this area as well. There's an iron, ironing board, some more storage space over here. And then the bathroom is over here. Same door as the other room, which I love. It slides open like this and here is the bathroom a nice shower okay let me get a little closer nice shower a nice sink area as well and then there's the view let's look at the view y'all Oh my gosh, hold on, let me open it, let me open it. Look at our view. Yes, can sit out here and enjoy. So beautiful. I am heading to breakfast. It actually ends at 10 and it's 9.48. So let me see if I can get there in time to eat something real quick. I'm just gonna take the stairs. Um, it's on the third floor or on the first floor. So just gonna make it up there <laughs> quickly and see if I can get something to eat. I feel like it's gonna be very crowded because I'm going at the last minute. Um, Oh, okay. Not too bad. Once Sammy comes up, I'm going to um, get some more food. There's definitely some like American style eggs because Haitian eggs don't look like this. But yeah, that's what I'm starting off with. And then once he comes up, I'm going to get some other stuff. And I also have some cassave. Cassave with some... I think this is pineapple, pineapple confiti. But... This is what I'm just starting off with. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fruit as well. But I just don't wanna get up and leave my food. Um, Cause they said it's gonna finish at 10.30, not at 10. So I called him and told him he can come up.
we made it to the airport. We are heading to Porto Plant. Our flight leaves in less than 30 minutes. So OCOP has been fun. It has been great being stuck here for a few days uh, longer. But um, yeah, now it's time to head back to Porto Plant. Um, I'll definitely check in with you all once I get there. Stay tuned.